I've seen the orcs we fought, in a vision. It was on a battlefield, and these orcs were attacking, and the sky was red as blood. Curious. That's a new one indeed. Go fetch a ewer of wine from the kitchen. This may take some explaining. That this tower is a place of power should not surprise you. Mages gravitate towards such places. Once, long ago, something powerful exploded here, carving out the valley and weakening the reality around it. You then came... Yes, that's all true, if you look at it in a linear fashion. But what if the explosion occurred because the place needed to be ready for me? Tell me, what is time? How does it work? Time is a regular progression of instants, like sands through an hourglass. Excellent analogy. If the tower is an hourglass, then visions are bits of sand of time itself, that are moving through it at any time. We can see them, but not clearly. Some of it is part of the past, some of it is parts of the future. Could some of it be of other worlds as well? Possible. These visions waft in and out at their own speed, and defy us to explain their chaotic nature. Have you ever sought out a particular vision? Wouldn't there be a way to discover a certain future, and then make sure it happened? Or make sure it never comes to pass? No. There are some things that even a master mage respects, and stays clear of. This is one of them. I have to go. Tonight, I'm afraid. I will leave instructions for your studies with Morose. Bring me a vision of the young Medivh. But I never said I was alone. Sargeras, I have broken your toys. You are finished here. Flee while you still have your life. The time of Tyrus fall is about to end. Surrender now. I have use of your power. No. Then die, Guardian, and let your world die with you. The Magus is back. Wants you up at the observatory level. Medivh's back? That's what I said. You're to fly to Stormwind with him. I've summoned the Griffins. 